Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new Oracle deck. It was just recently released. Um, it's called the Sacred Forest Oracle by Denise Lin. Publisher is Hay House. It's in their regular two-part hard case box. There is a thumb hole cut out. Here's the back with a few picture of the cards. Other side. Top. And bottom of the box. Here's the insight. Enter a secret dimension to discover the truth of your soul. Alright. Guidebook is on top. Cards are underneath. The other side just has pictures. No same. So that's the inside of the box. Here's the guidebook, and we'll take a look at it at the end. There's the thickness of the guidebook. The cards are plastic bound. I don't know if you can see the plastic. If I can get it out. There's the plastic. All right. Here are the backs. Very pretty. Pegasus. Of course, it's not reversible, not gilded. Oracle card size. So comparing it to a plaid back tarot card, it's taller and wider. And then comparing it to a traditional angel card, it's the same. Okay, so most of Hay House cards are the same size, pretty much, I believe. They are numbered. There is a total of 52 cards. And there's a keyword at the top and then another um, word at, underneath the keyword. And as you can see, they are borderless. So let's zoom in. Let's scoot back. All right, that should be good. All right. Oh, and the texture is matte. It's matte. All right, so first card air spirit ancient oak spirit keyword underneath is strength aspen spirit so it's obviously in alphabetical order bear spirit bee spirit blue bell fairy gratitude Oh, nice, pretty little lights, like fairy, fairy, fairy lights. Blue bird spirit. That's a very pretty bird. Beautiful. Butterfly spirit. Crystal cave. Very pretty light, glowing. Daffodil fairy. New beginnings. Beautiful yellow. Look at that. What is this? Dragon power. So that's a dragon. Look at that glow. That's beautiful. Dragonfly spirit. Very pretty. Eagle spirit freedom. Earth spirit stability. Elves, playfulness, enchanted fern grotto, enchanted fern grotto, free spirit energy, foggy bog, foggy bog. I wonder if that's the name of the bird. I'm not familiar with it. All right. A forest temple, enlightenment, frog spirit, guardians of the land, protection. Hummingbird spirit, maple spirit, meandering pathway, flow. Very nice. Moonlight Enchantment, 
Mystic Meadow. Owl Spirit Wisdom. Pegasus Transcending. Phoenix Transmutation. Pine Spirit Purification. Rainbow Waterfall Miracles. Nice. Raven Spirit Truth. Reflecting Pool Stillness. Wow, this deck feels very magical. Foresty, earthy, fairy like. And if you know Denise Lynn, she lives in the woods and she has Native American. Um, um, background teachings and things like that so um, very earthly grounding secret spring success spirit guardian of autumn letting go spirit guardian of spring activation spirit Guardian of Summer Expansion. So they have um, each season in here. So that's nice. Spirit Guardian of Winter Retreat. Stag Spirit Leadership. Standing Stones Passage. Starry Night Acceptance. Storm Spirit Chaos. Thicket of Thorns, Uncertainty. Wow. Toadstools, Growth. Unicorn, Purity. Water Spirit, Manifesting Dreams. This is beautiful. Gorgeous colors. Wild Rose, Fairy. Wild Rose, Fairy, Love. Nice. Will of Spirit Flexibility. Wise Woman of the Grove Grace. Look at that wood. Nice. That's a really nice picture. It captures the woods. It makes you feel like you're you're in there in the forest. It's a nice meditation um, picture. Wizard of the Woods, Focus. All right. Wolf Spirit, Family. Wood Nymph, Beauty. That's the last card. Beautiful, beautiful photos, pictures. Very nice, very nice. It feels very magical. The energy is very nice magical grounding fairy like and very earthy all right this was just released this year 2021 and there are here's the contents table of contents goes through note from the author about the sacred forest let's see what she has to say these cards are a dream a long time in the making. My spiritual explorations began after a near-death experience I had at age 17. In the days after that traumatic event, I began to sense a remarkable inner realm. Whenever I was in the natural world, I could see another dimension of light and sound. Each blade of grass shone with light and emanated a soft tone. The combined song of the grasses was like a thousand tiny high-pitched monks. Tree glistened with light, every leaf shimmering and boomed deeply and sonorously. As I stepped deeper into the experience of sensing frequencies and energies of the world around me, I became aware of the vibrational energy of a mystical sacred force that was simply a dimension away. So that kind, kind of give you idea of her story and how she went about make making the um, deck all right 
right? Journey into the sacred forest, energy portals into a higher dimension. Our connection with the nature world, oracle cards as energy portals. That's really cool because, you know, that deck of the, the picture of the woods, it felt like you could step into it and meditate. So that's really cool. Energy cards as, as an oracle cards as energy portals. There are places on the planet where there is a thinning of the veil between the invisible and visible realms. Such places have been called many names, such as Vortex, sac Sacred Space, Stargate, or Energy Portal. It's not uncommon for people to have mystical experiences near these places. Visitation with unworldly beings occur. Animals appear and disappear, bringing messages with them. Voices are heard in the night. Angelic encounters to inspire. This oracle deck helps you access this realm beyond the physical senses yeah i did feel that energy as i was doing the walkthrough every card in this deck is a key that opens a different aspect of the natural world like a vibrational tuning fork each card activates a frequency that opens an energy portal that allows you to transverse the veil to a hollow place a sacred force Explore these cars and enter secret dimensions to discover the truth of your soul. This will inspire and expand it awareness of the vast and gracious dwelling place of your essence. Is it, it is a healing and liberating journey. Yeah, this deck is powerful, you guys. Especially if you can't make it into nature. I think this deck, you can use it and just probably transport yourself there by just looking and visualizing at the cards how to use the sacred forest oracle preparing for a card read and clear the space center yourself call on spirit focus your intent visualize the sacred forest clear the cards choosing the cards ask a question interpreting the cards storing the cards so she goes into a lot on how to take care of your cards how to use the card methods of sacred Forest card readings, daily spiritual insight, one card reading, three card reading. All right. So there's sample spreads in here. Quite a few, actually. It's quite a few. Entering the sacred forest in your dreams. Wow. So there's a lot. Reading the signs in your life with your cards. The messages of the cards. All right. So there's no picture of the cards. It's just wording. Okay, so no photo, but. And that's pretty much it. There's a couple blank pages in the back. And there are a total of 144 number pages. The last few, um, they didn't number it. All right, so that is a quick um, walk through of the newly released Sacred, the Sacred Forest Oracle by Denise Lynn. Hope you guys enjoy that. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you again in the next video. Bye.